Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the save file. In the previous episode, we did something. I don't remember. Anyways, we're gonna go jump into a challenge. Um, someone said that I should do the uh, back asswood challenge, which only gives last bleeds, which isn't very good. But it's an interesting challenge nonetheless, so we're gonna give it a go. I'll, I'll be honest, I kind of don't remember anything about this challenge. Like, you, de I know that you start at the top and have to go back, but I can't remember, like, do you just start with random items and you lose them each floor? Or, I, I genuinely just cannot remember how this works at all. Um, anyways, we have to start with the Mega Certain fight, which... Okay. Okay. We've started with some intriguing items here, for sure. Um, oh my lord. We've, we've got base stats game. Come on now. <laughs> we've started with base stats against Mega Certain. Why? I mean, we've got two Hierophant cards here. That's pretty nice. Oh my goodness. Well, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> maybe, maybe I have to restart here. I don't know. This doesn't seem plausible at all to beat Mega Satan with this setup. Like, even remotely so. Like, let, let's just let's just do a restart and see what we get. Because that is ba literally base fire rate, base damage. That's not gonna cut the cheese. I'm sorry, friend. Um, okay, so you do start with random items. This time, we've got much better damage. Um, we've got some interesting stuff here. Unfortunately, we have Mars. Um, we've, got, we've got some interesting stuff here. We got slightly better stats, and we've got um, the ability to deal other statistical damage, which is kind of nice. Um, we've got this little rift buddy. I can't remember what he does, uh, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I think he eats up shots and then fires them out at enemies or something. And then yeah, we've got sibling rivalry as well, which is kind of useful. Um, we've also got the uh, the the item that triggers dice effect when we kill enemies. Uh, which isn't going to be super useful for this, but later on might end up being pretty good. Unfortunately, we do still have base fire rate. Oh my god, I keep goddamn uh, dashing with Mars by accident. But this is going significantly better than before. I would not say it's going well by any means. It's still incredibly slow. Um, oh, where did that ghost come from? I have legitimately no idea. Mars, what, why are you the way that you are? Yeah, we got a ghost here. I don't really know where it came from. He's doing his best, though. He's doing his best. Ow. Okay, so we're getting ghosts on being hit, which I'm not sure what item is doing that, but... I'll certainly accept them, because they're going to be stacking up and doing good damage over time. Gosh. This is going to take a while, man. This is like the hardest bit of the challenge, isn't it, though? Like, the first floor is like by far the hardest bit of the challenge. It just, it's kind of weird how few items it gives you, like, right? By, by this point in a run, in a regular run, you would have way, way more items than this. It just feels a bit rude. But, like, you can see that the actual health of Mega Satan is pretty low pretty darn low indeed, so it's taking it's gonna take a little while to kill him, but like I said, we will we will persevere. We'll try our best. Mars will of course screw me over routinely. Honestly though, every every time we get hit we produce one of these ghosts, so these ghosts will keep stacking up and do more and more damage, so I'm not completely upset about them. God. Oh my god! Mars! Why did we have to get Mars? This is why you want me to do this challenge, isn't it? Because it's just really difficult to start with. So many ghosties. Oh my god. We're getting random, loads of random dice effects. Trying to use this dice here. Not really working out. We have so many of these guys to get through as well. There's blood on the floor too. Okay, we're probably just going to die this one. Feels like you need a pretty specific build to be able to kill this guy here. I'm trying my best, but... 
I've only got two hearts left at this point. Oh, really? We're not even through this stage yet. This is crazy how difficult this is. This ball isn't even that bad either. You're dead. Oh, bugger. Okay. We're going to keep trying with this, though. This is this is definitely a fun challenge. We're just probably going to be stuck on Mega Sate in a good while. And I think we have to just live in the real world and realize that if we get a really bad start, we just have to redo. Uh, so what we got here. Um, base stats again. In fact, lower than base stats because we've got really low fire rate. Um, we've got some saw blades in the business here. Um... I'm not sure how good they are. But they seem to be surrounding the room, which is probably good. Oh wait, no, they're not they're not hitting him multiple times. Okay. No, this one's this one's pretty naff. This one's pretty naff. We kind of just need something that's got some synergy to it. Or like Ipecac. <laughs> something that has some high damage to it. Um it's gonna be a little bit of a play around here. Um Low fire rate again here, but good damage. I don't know what this eye with the triple eye thing in it is. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. We got some technology in here as well. We got a demon boy. Okay. N honestly have little to no idea what this build is, but I think this is probably the one. I'm not sure what all the electricity is coming from. I'm not sure who this little... What ghosty friend is and what he's doing for me, but we'll accept him as our as our very own. This is this is the build. It didn't take us long, but we got something very very interesting. Oh god, that that little dude cut me down. I'm not exactly sure why. But he he gave me the slice. Ow! Oh no, it's when I get hit, he jumps like he jumps inside of me when I get hit. Okay, this is this is a re I think it's the electricity that's making it as strong as it is, but it just is very strong regardless. But this is kind of crazy. I think I like it. Okay, first phase is done. This is looking good. This is looking very good. The only problem, remember, is I believe we do lose items per floor. So this this really cool build could become pear shaped very quickly. A fire is very strange. Seems very, very inconsistent. Okay, I can like double tap with this guy. Oh, uh, okay. So is it like men um like the Mentum the Mentum Mori, whatever it's called, from the regular version of the tainted guy of this, and you can like kind of use it to dash between enemies. It's kinda cool if that's the case. Anyways, first bit is done. First bit is done. We lead through here. Death's touch. Um, I will take this, but I think the rest of I'm gonna leave, and we go. And we gotta fight the boss and navigate our way back. And yeah, do we lose items? I, I genuinely can't remember if we lose items or not. Oh wait, is it, is it Tech Point Five that's giving us all this electricity and it's just like bugged out for some reason? It might very well be. Still, at least the uh, the strong build is going strong. We also have this plunger here, which is not super useful for us. Good. And yeah, I can't get in there now. I've got to navigate my way back. For room clearing, I expect this is going to be very strong. Just considering how it's been doing on bosses, I can't imagine this is going to do poorly at all against bosses. And I'm hoping taking what's it called, um, Little Horn, should really help out a lot here. Fortunately, oh wait, I was going to say we can't kill this room any quicker than normal, but... Technically, we can make it a lot easier on ourselves by just, uh, just getting rid of the main threats of this room. There you go. No need to fret. 
it's really it's really kind of funny that you can do that. And it, sh it does actually show us where the starting room is as well, so we have a, a rough idea of where we're meant to be going. Strength cards, reasonably good to have. Oh shit, that enemy didn't die. Got some black hearts out of these poops. Very, very happy with that. Easy enough. Nice, okay. And we even got a uh, one of these hearts. Okay, up we go. Yeah, let's see if we lose any items. I can't... I'm, I'm sure you do. I'm sure you lose items. I'm not seeing... Oh, wait, no, I think I think they're, I think they're losing from the back. From, from, like, the start sort of thing. Sadly, nothing there for us, really. So, you see this little Dark Soul thing we've got going on? Which I think is my little, uh, Scythe buddy. That should be lost on the next floor, is what I'm trying to say. Which is good, because we've actually got some of our better items later, later in the line. So we're going to keep some good items at least. Until quite far through. We should... Okay, I guess we should be able to see where we're going, but apparently not this floor. Unless it's just really far away. It's also plausible. Oh no, there you go. Oh, very quick. Yeah, so we did we did, we did lose that one. So I think we're going to lose... Um, unfortunately, it doesn't do much for us. Um, Jobs family, yes. Grants a luck bonus based on how many coins you have. Fair enough. So, we're going to lose whatever this cartridge thing is next, which might be what the electricity is from, or we might be getting the electricity from Tech Point 5. I'm not entirely sure. I think we're getting it from this other item, though, because this isn't normally how Tech Point 5 functions. I'd be surprised if, this, if it was doing this. It's kind of neat how you can get additional items, though, with this setup. Like, I got that Angel deal and stuff. I didn't expect that. As for the question of the day today, I have not really thought of a good one. Uh, I could get up chat GPT, but it's, it's a little bit too late. Um, hmm. Hmm. What's something important that you've been putting off? That's a good one. That's a good one. For me, it's just, it's not like super important, but I keep like not making enough time to like record certain stuff. Like a secondly set a, 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 Especially second channel stuff. I really want to do more stuff on that. But I've just... Sometimes... I say sometimes. Pretty much all the time, I just end up playing Call of Duty, uh, Warzone, and that's it. <laughs> I really need to stop. I, do, I mean, it's fun. I enjoy it. But yeah, it's like, I really should try and do some more productive things with my time. I've played enough Call of Duty to last a lifetime, really. So we'll lose this little this little cartridge thing here next. And up the electricity is still working. Okay, good. So it is tech point five that's doing that then. Take the negative here. Devil deals unfortunately not been super nice to us thus far. Oh we are losing we are losing red hearts the further in we get. I didn't realise that. That's oh goddamn. That's very good to know. Oh wait. Full card is pretty awesome here. Yeah. <laughs> full card's pretty great. Didn't really think about how goddamn good a full card would be. Okay, thank you for spawning the boss on me. Not particularly happy about that. Do need some soul hearts or something to keep me a little bit safer. While this build is kind of crazy, things are going to get risky in the earlier floors. This is an interesting challenge, though. I think I think it's just about getting a, a solid build to kill Mega Satan, and then basically you can kind of cursed. Because if you have a build good enough to kill him, you kind of have a build good enough to carry you, and you just got to hope that the items are in a good enough order for the way back. Otherwise, it's not going to work out so well. 
I've not been checking for item rooms on these floors. I don't think they exist. So next we're going to lose whatever this robe thing is, which I think is damage. It's not, it's not sin robes, it's something else. Dude, you can't just keep spawning the boss on me. Really not fair. Really doesn't feel great. My biggest worry is that it looks like I'm going to have to do the first floor with only one HP, which is not a great idea. Let me go. I'm just glad that, yeah, like I said, my items are in a good enough order to where I'm basically keeping all the great ones. I am going to lose this, uh, this eyeball thing next, which seems to be pretty good for me. It seems to be firing my tears in, like, big clusters. I'm going to be losing that, which is a shame. That seems to be doing a lot for us. It might be a, sort, a big source of our damage, too. But I don't think it's the end of the world to lose that. And the electricity is the most important thing here. Which it might also remove that too, I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, that's actually really good. Really good. Uh, being able to see unexplored rooms at higher range means we can head to the uh, the starting room a lot, lot quicker. Kind of know where we're going. Right, so let's see what happens once we lose this. And then tech is the next thing we lose, so... Dude, stop! That's going to be really rough on the last floor. So yeah, we have lost it. We still we still have our electricity going. That's good. That's really good. Extra max HP helps out a ton. Okay, this is still strong, but we lose tech next floor. I'm a little bit confused, because this isn't how tech normally works, but maybe it's a different item. I've not really considered the fact that it could just be a different item, but I don't know what it would be. It could be that little eye thing after Steam Sale. I don't really know what that is. We'll see. We'll find out in a second, won't we? Right, prepare to get hit again. That's super... Okay, it is that. It is that item. It's super bullshit that I can just get hit instantly there. Oh, thank you for the soul heart. That's super, super necessary. Okay, wh whatever that item is, it's that. Which is great, because it means we should have that for the last floor. We have to keep our powerful stuff for the last floor. We're going to speed through this. This has actually been a really short episode thus far. We can probably fit in another challenge. Wasn't expecting it, but I'll certainly go for it. Yeah, and then we'll lose Steam Sale here, and we'll lose one heart, so we'll have one Soul Heart. Oh, and we didn't get spawned on either. Awesome. We got a boss that didn't instantly hurt us. And then Snake Oil. Well, well, well. Hasn't this been good? I just have to play this guy once to see if he gives me an item, because they always give me an item when I'm not playing as the character. He did give me Brain Worm, though. Brain Worm's pretty damn good. Okay. Huzzah! It is done. Right, that was a pretty easy challenge for us there. We got really good stuff. Uh, right, we'll do another challenge, just because that one was super duper easy. Um... Let's just do Life Gives You Lemons. Card Against Humanity is just so goddamn good. I love that card so much. Um, and we'll see what we can... See what we can do. This is a fairly easy challenge as well, if I remember correctly. It's just a lot of... A lot of lemons. Second? Right. Let's keep a pushing. Let's keep a going. Okay, so I, I think it's no item room. Is it no item rooms? It, I think this is a no item rooms one. But yeah, it's basically just one room charge, lemon mishap. And then we have a lemon party pill as well. Really, this challenge should be with free lemonade, now that free lemonade is an item, but... Hey, her. Filigree feather would be gosh darn fantastic. Good, good. 
Yeah, filigree Feather, really goddamn good for us here. Because if we can actually get into Angel deals, we can get extra items. That, that's going to accelerate us forward quite a bit. Um, yeah, let's do the boss. Okay, unfortunately, a boss that we can't damage. Really? This is a horrible, horrible boss. Can't damage this boss with the um, with the Lemon Party pill or the Lemon Mishap. And it's just a particularly difficult boss anyways. And honestly, it might genuinely be worth taking what it gives us. Because it's going to give us the Black Pony. Which seems really stupid to get rid of our uh, core item for this challenge. But honestly, the speed upgrade plus flight is so valuable. Trying my goddamn hardest to kill the head here. There you go, got it. Oh, really? You're a bastard. At least this guy doesn't throw bombs anymore. He normally throws bombs. I'm just, I, I'm telling you, it's stupid, but one room charge pony is a lot, lot better, in my opinion, than lemon mishap. So, just completely done away with the, the entire idea of the challenge straight off the bat, but there you go. But yeah, that is, in my opinion, far more valuable to us. Oh, really? 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 That was such a horrible little situation to get stuck in there. <laughs> Unfortunately, we lost our Devil Deal chance here already, which is not great. Get out of here. Secret room, hello. Didn't really kill as many as I was hoping there. Kind of a rough room as well, to be honest. Just the one more of you? Nice. Yeah, we got a secret room up here. Check that out real quick. Copper bomb, don't let me down. Thank you. Not bad stuff there. Um, We can actually get into cash rooms for free as well, because we can go in with flight, take no damage. Oh, you, you two come over here a minute. I said come over here. What... What's wrong with you? God damn it. I was hoping I could use those guys to fill up that thing. I guess not. Oh, we got this. Um, I will take that because I need the damage. And then, yeah, I can go. Ooh, ah, yeah. Straight out again. Beautiful. Yeah, all of the stats slightly down for a damage up. And it's a pretty decent damage up as well this early on. Certainly taking it. I would like Spectral now. Spectral would be really good. Lots of hearts about. I like that. Beautiful. Toy box would be real fun. That was close. Almost hit myself on that guy. And then you're setting yourself on fire, my guy. I just forget you do that. Beautiful. No pill for me, thank you. Wait, what? Excuse me? Why didn't I dash? I tried to dash and it just didn't bother. In situations like that, it's not going to do much for us. So, unfortunately, it's not, not quite the status of White Pony, but Black Pony's still useful. Hopefully we still get the Devil Deal here. We did. Awesome. Um, and then we get meat. That's good for damage and HP. And then we go. And then, yeah, hopefully we get an angel deal this floor. And we can use filigree feather to get some good stuff going on. Yeah. That was really stupid of me. I got a soul heart out of it, though, so it's not terrible. Good to keep my uh, chance alive. Good money there. I'm going to use this. I think this is a good time to use it because we, we could get a few waves cleared off of the back of this. You can step yourself open and then yes, easy. Emperor card. Um, there's there's no uh, thingy room here, so I might as well just do the emperor card. Oh, dude, that was that was pretty de devious of you. Really? He just faked me out there. 
Good. I don't want to use too many bombs because I, I need bombs to kill the angel statues if I get them. Sadly not. We did get a golden old bandage there, which is rather nice for extra HP. And we keep her going, baby. We keep her going. Sadly, no angel deal here. Oh, God. For some reason, I completely forgot that's what you did. Sadly, keeping an angel deal chance alive here is not super, super duper easy. Wow, I killed everything there. Wow, nice. Don't you dare jump on my head. Um... I don't really know what's the best thing to do here. I'm going to try play you. I don't like playing you guys because you're a pain. But I told you, every time I'm not playing as Mammon, just, they just pay out immediately. Unfortunately, paid out with an item I don't really need. But Oh, you, 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 you little... Ugh. It just fucking spawned underneath me. I also accidentally used a key on that thing. I'm very annoyed at getting hit there. That was a completely unjust hit, in my opinion. Completely unjust. It just straight up spawned that guy under me. Nothing I could have done, apart from be somewhere else. But I'm not going to do that. I don't take that responsibility. Anyways, we could still get our angel chance. It's only an 18% chance. Ugh. I had a plan. It was all potentially going so well. But it's, it's pathetic how little damage the pony does to um, the bosses. Uh, well, we've lost it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We've got a 0.5 chance now. My good guy, can you die faster, please? Really, you need you kind of need the strength of devil deals and stuff for these challenges. So you're not getting item rooms. But it's a little sucky that we've like lost all of our opportunity for them. Luckily, we've got A damage up, or well, two damage ups technically, but it's still not particularly great. Still taking us a mighty long time to kill these big boys. It's okay, though. We're getting there. We're getting there. Not particularly hard to dodge this guy at this point. We have to kill this poot before it gets to us. Okay. Okay. Got hit a few times back to back there. Not super happy about it. 0 0.5 angel chance. Go! Damn you. Oh, and you give me that? You gross pile of grossness. That was gross. I mean, we have a 100% angel chance now, but no no protection for I said angel chance, so... I'm not sure how likely it is. I'd love it if we just went the right way first time here. But I doubt that's going to happen, is it? I'd also like it if we don't get hit to some BS this time. Oh, what the f... What kind of a dash was that, goddamn earth? Ah, this is horrible. I do not like this room. I don't have spectral either, so it's making it a little bit harder than it has to be. Okay. We really need rooms in which we can horsey on down and make sure we can kill something, but it doesn't always pan out that way. Unfortunately, wrong way thus far. That's a really good trinket there, but unfortunately, not what we need right now. Really hoping for a soul heart there. Kill the biggest threat in the room first. This is looking somewhat correct in terms of direction. Sadly, I was incorrect about that. Oh, no, no. No. Get out of here, you poop spawning fool. Get out. Oh my god, just go away. There's no poop left anymore. Get the hell out of here. There's a soul heart in here. Thank goodness. I'll also take that as well. Okay. Slightly, slightly less stressed out now. 
Only slightly. I've still got to actually go the right way on everything, which unfortunately I didn't manage to do there. And somehow I missed my uh, my dash with this guy. Do you know what? Fuck you. I'm not fighting you. Pain in the ass. Go away. This is a really horrible room as well. These goddamn spiders. Get out of here, you stupids. These goddamn spiders just spawn a thousand new spiders. Get out of my life. You watch this angel deal, we're gonna finally get it and it's gonna be crap. How are you still alive, my good lad? Have you not spawned, have you not birthed enough things? This is a pretty horrible room in itself as well. Like, god damn. There's a lot of these guys and they have a lot of HP. And there's like four of them. I think they lose health when they hit walls, maybe. And that's kind of the gimmick. Is that it? Please say that's it. That, that's it, thank god. Just kill you. That didn't even kill you? Okay. It's fallen off, people. The pony has fallen off. I've fallen off the pony. Dude. What is with this goddamn item? It's just not cooperating at all with what I want it to do. I just, I lined it up, I held forward, and I pressed spacebar. And it's like, mm, I think you held up and left. I fucking certainly didn't. I certainly didn't, but you may think that if you want. That is not what I did in any way, shape, or form, but you can misconstrue it as that if you believe so. That was a worthless use of it. It's frustrating me. To be fair, this room is equally frustrating me. These enemies are very annoying. A lot of very annoying enemies. Through it. I'm gonna guess we have to go through the big room here. Indeed, we do. You guys are all one shot. Don't know the best way to deal with you guys. I think it's just keep our distance. Oh my god, our damage is so low. <laughs> our damage is so low. Come on, die already. Now we've got to kill the boss. We need to keep one bomb at least. Don't get hit again. These guys will spoot out into little fellas. Little fellas are dead. We got our angel deal, and we got some HP too, nice. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch, game. There's no fires in here either to kill this guy any quicker. Mmm, how goddamn dare you. If this isn't a good item, I'm actually gonna throw it down. I've waited. All my life for this moment, and you give me zero items. The one single angel lay layout that has no items. And you're like, hey, you know who'd like this? And then this is going to be like Breath of Life or some crap other active item, isn't it? Couldn't just simply be Sacred Heart, could it? All I ask for is the most powerful item in the entire game. Is that so hard? Is that so hard? Heart ship balloon. It's good, but it's entirely defensive. Therefore, I hate it. That was so much effort. And it was, wasn't worth it whatsoever. Thanks, game. Just a bunch of hearts. Pretty much that's all you gave me. Gotta love it. Get a bunch of flies here, there you go. 
pretty often. Secret room here, I think. I mean, a bit too late, but I'll take it. Cash room. Give me some soul hearts. That gave me a golden chest, it gave me some bombs. Got an eternal heart there. One of them. Oh, god damn. Dude, oh, this goddamn horse. Fucking do what I want you to do, you stupid little horse. Unfortunately, no mapping here either, so we've got that as a as an extra issue. Oh, why did I why did I fire at him? God damn it! I got to deal with this whole shebang. Ah, he's got a lot of them there. I suppose at this stage, I could probably just sacrifice HP to get a bunch of charges on my horse and just keep running into things with Nun's habit sort of thing. Okay, we got we got this guy anyways. Like, why not? I'm just gonna keep doing this so I can get charges and destroy her. Until, wait until the foot comes down, we seem to get more damage on the foot. Yeah. Where's your foot at, Mum? Where that foot at? It's working out great. I mean, it's so many hearts from that balloon as well. Or is it from Fanny Pack, actually? I think it's from Fanny Pack, you know. I think it only the balloon only pops once a room. There you go. Okay, we did it. Beautiful, we did it. That was some doing, but anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a fun episode, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.